Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to my channel. Today, I've got an autism awareness mini requested by Randy. To learn more about autism, please, le please check out the link down below. I've started this manicure off with Pill Ease and Brave Steva Boys of Summer, just a beautiful light blue cream, and I topped it off with some Posh. No, no, I didn't. I did Pro FX. <laughs> And I'll be stamping with this Beauty Big Bang Metallic Blue Polish 001. And I'll be using BM319 and BM321 for my stamping plates today. I'll be using my big clear jelly stamper and my clear jelly scraper. And I, and I know that truly the autism awareness um, colors or blue, but they also, in their ribbons and stuff, they like to use multicolors, like colors of the rainbow or a crayon box. But today I just wanted to stick with just the blues. Um, it's all due to interpretation, I guess. And for me, I just wanted, you know, the light blue and the dark blue today. But this is my autism awareness manicure. And that's a cute little heart with puzzle pieces in it. I love, love that image. I thought it turned out really cool. And we're going to use the full design of the ribbons. Zoomp, there we go. Gotta get me a piece of tape and get off this extra stuff because I don't want no Bundle Monster 321 up on my nails. That would not look cool. Here we go. I just love, love this image. And I love these two colors together. I just think that they really do work. I really like them. So I'm going to grab this other plate, the 319, and I'm going to use the puzzle piece image from it. I'm going to do that on my pointer and on my pinky. And I did just kind of like a swish design on my um, thumb. It's just kind of a um, like ribbon swish design. It came off of one of these plates. I think it was the other plate. And this Bundle Monster Blue Metallic Stamp and Polish is just... I keep saying Bundle Monster. It's not Bundle Monster. It's Beauty Big Bang. <laughs> and I'm going to go in with a piece of tape and do a little bit of cleanup. Try to get up some of that excess. And it's coming up quite well for the most part. Just a little bit of it being stubborn where my skin is super dry. I don't do any oiling or lotioning or anything before I paint my nails because I don't want any of that to accidentally get on my nail bed and make my nail polish not stick. I'm going to go in with my cleanup brush and this little dampened dish. It's got acetone in it. And this is that little e.l.f. concealer or eye brush, um, you know, the ones that aren't normally a dollar, like Walmart or Target, and I, 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 I do like these brushes, it's just I got spoiled, but this is a really good brush because it's still rather firm even after it's wet, and I like that, so, there we go, get all up in the sides and get it clean, the thumb didn't really need anything, we're good on that one. So here we go. It's time to top coat, and today I'm going to be using the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. And zoom you in a little bit. There we go. Now it's all clear. Yay! But I really liked how this one turned out, and I hope you enjoyed it. I would love to hear from you. Leave me a comment down below, and we'll chat about this one. Or anything you want to chat about, it's good with me. So there you go. Here comes my swatch photo. So that is it for today. I want to thank you for watching, and until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.